How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com and today we are going to be testing out our new muzzleloaders.com muzzle brake. Now, this is the prototype. The new one's gonna have uh, nitride on it, but the recoil testing and the specs are all the same. So we're gonna give you our first thoughts on it. Um, this is gonna be my first time trying out this muzzle brake and uh, I'm excited to get into it. So let's go ahead and put some rounds downrange. So to test our new muzzleloaders.com muzzle brake, we decided to use the Paramount HTR uh, 40 cal. And I chose because this is a muzzle loader that I've shot a lot. I've shot with several different muzzle brakes, so I kind of have a good understanding of how it feels. Um, and we're going to test with and without the muzzle brake just to try and see what kind of uh, recoil reduction we can get. Right now we have it unbraked and uh, we're going to shoot a 105 by weight charge of Blackhorn 209 with the 225 grain ELR bullet and we're going to get a baseline of, of uh, recoil and then we're going to move on to the uh, braked version and see what kind of recoil reduction we can get out of it. So let's go ahead and send some rounds down range. All right, we got the Paramount all loaded up. This is our unbraked baseline recoil test. I'm not looking forward to this shot. Uh, it's been a while since I've shot a Paramount unbraked so uh, we're gonna see what happens here so uh, we have our target cam ready to go um, this is gonna help you guys compare the recoil and uh, be able to see for yourself so let's go ahead and see what we got this is gonna not be fun I'm going to scope myself guaranteed you're just glad this isn't you Yep, there it is. Impact, but a broken Sorry. nose. Did you break your nose? Ow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, do it for the impact. <laughs> oh my goodness. I do that. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> All right. So, are we good, Emilio? Okay. Yeah, so, uh, unbraked, uh, just as bad as I remember, except I don't remember it having a target cam on it, so, or trigger cam, so, uh, hit my nose pretty good, but, um, yeah, not as, just not pleasant, not pleasant. Don't shoot a Paramount without a muzzle brake. If you find yourself shooting a Paramount without a muzzle brake, stop. Get some help. Because why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> so let's go ahead and throw the muzzle brake on there and uh, we'll see how much recoil reduction we can get out of it. All right, so we just shot the HTR without a muzzle brake. So now we have a good baseline for the level of recoil we're going to expect from this muzzle loader. Uh, if you have shot the Paramount yourself without a muzzle brake, you know it does have quite a bit of recoil. So we went ahead and threw on our MZ brake. Now keep in mind, this is just the prototype. The actual version is going to be exactly the same specs and functionality. This one is just not nitrided. Um, we just got this one early pre-production so that we could do some testing with it. Uh, but we're going to shoot and we're going to see uh, what the difference in recoil is. I'm expecting quite a drastic reduction in recoil. This is actually my first time shooting with this muzzle brake. So you're going to get an honest and genuine reaction as to how uh, I feel about it. So let's go ahead and, and shoot it and see what happens. All right, first shot on the muzzle brake. Let's see what we got. Impact. I was pretty much able to stay on target. Way less recoil though, my goodness. All right, so that was the, my first ever shot with the new MZ brake, and uh, I'm really impressed. I really like it. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. I don't. I like Omniport brakes in some respects. However, I personally prefer 
uh, a directional brake like this one and the recoil reduction was excellent. Um, I, I honestly, in my opinion, I would say that it was roughly half the recoil of an unbraked Paramount. Uh, which is massive. I mean, I, as somebody who spends a lot of time on the range behind the Paramount, um, going without a muzzle brake is kind of not even an option. Uh, if I forget the muzzle brake, I will go back into town to get it. And uh, this muzzle brake is definitely one I would, I would throw on mine. I'd highly recommend if you guys are Paramount lovers or if you're shooting any 45 or 50 caliber or even 40 caliber muzzle loader. Uh, pick up a muzzle brake because it's really going to save your shoulder and you're going to be able to spend a lot more time on the range. So uh, if you have any questions on this muzzle brake or any of the other products on our website, give our customer service team a call or you can let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. I'm going to scope myself, guaranteed.